Hello. Actually, I've been thinking of what to ask you for the past three months, ever since I knew I was coming here. And um, first of all, I wanted to thank you. Your uh, teachings are very practical, and it's very easy to get into it. I've been using well, whatever we call the law of attraction or any of this. <laughs> Even to the point of getting called here, I knew I was going to get called. I have a couple of questions that are separated in two parts. The first has to do with um, action or inspired action. I've gotten pretty good at identifying my rockets of desires and looking at them through different angles and enjoying you know, the fact that I have a new uh, rocket of desire. And then when I start getting what I believe are the inspired actions to move towards that rocket of desire, I start having negative feelings. Then you're taking action too soon. In other words, you've jumped in too soon with your action. Sort of like you still believe that the action is a more dominant part than it is, and you need to get in there and speed it up. In other words, let us be clear. The attention that you give to your idea is not what creates the idea. Contrast created it. The attention that you give to it is your effort and success at lining up with it. So when you get completely vibrationally lined up with your idea, now the impulse to act is so powerful you can't talk yourself out of it there's no prodding or motivation that's necessary in fact the universe is just yielding things to you and you're looking at them and you're feeling powerful enthusiasm for it if you don't feel enthusiasm for it the energy isn't lined up and we would not take the action so an example would be, how would I win the lottery if I don't feel the urge to go and buy the ticket? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, like that commercial says, if you don't play, you can't win. And That's so what I mean, but... we understand that motivation. And if you are looking at that one vortex as the avenue through which your abundance will come, then we understand how there could be a sort of feeling of urgency about it. We're going to give this to you in a way that you can really hear it. If life has caused you to put a big request for a lot of money in your vibrational escrow, and you're in the place where you're not even thinking about buying a lottery ticket because the means in which it comes is irrelevant to you. You're so sure it's coming. Now you're in that place. So then when you buy the ticket, it just feels like the next logical step. You don't get that big buzz or that disappointment from it. You're lined up with it, you see. The words that we're wanting to find for you are these. When your desire and your perspective about your desire are in alignment, it feels far less than the desire you all think desire feels like. It's interesting. What most people call desire is really a mixed bag of wanting something that I don't know how I'm going to get it. You've become comfortable with that mixture, that feeling. So it feels like excitement, adventure, trepidation, uneasiness. When you want purely, there's no downside to it. It just feels done. It feels done. And there is an interest in the way it will unfold, but not a strong interest because it's done. It's done. We so want you to capture the spirit of that which we know. When you ask, it goes into your vibrational escrow and it is answered vibrationally and it is done. It's done. It's really, it's done. It's done. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. We're getting carried away. We want you. It's done. Did we tell you? It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Now, if there's a part of you that says, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't see it. I didn't buy the ticket. I don't have the money. It's not done. That part of you that's saying it's not done is the vibrational contradiction that makes you do all kinds of things to justify the doneness of it. And everything you do to justify the doneness of something that is done pulls you in the opposite direction. So if you were to say to us, I have been asking for a lot of money and I know it's lined up in my vibrational escrow 
And occasionally I buy a lottery ticket, but the lottery tickets are not important to me because I know it's done. I know it's a done deal. I know that it's coming, and I know the way that it will come will unfold, and I'm more excited about the unfolding and the fun of the unfolding than I am about the doneness of it because the doneness is so inevitable. It's done, it's done, it's done. When you say that to us, when you get it that it's done, and now you just get the fun, it's sort of like, do you go to a movie to get to the end of it? Do you say to your girlfriend, let's go to the movie? And she'll say, why? And you say, because I want to get to the end of it. <laughs> Do you go on vacation to get it done? We're going to 27 cities, you say. I've got them all plotted out. We've, we've been to all of them. We'll come back home. And then you look at it and you say, wait a minute, we're already home. We're done. <laughs> no point in going. We're done. There isn't anything that you're doing to get it done. You want to win the lottery. You want the pile of money. It's a goal that you want. We want you to understand that it's done, and we want you to get your kicks from the thrill of the unfolding of it, you see. Because there is a big thing that goes screwy with everyone who says, I want to be over there, but I'm not. And when they say, I'll be happier when I'm over there, that tells the whole story. They can never get over there. When being happier is contingent on getting over there, they'll never get there. But if they say, I'm looking forward to being over there, and someone says, why, will you be happier? And you say, not really, I'm really happy over here. Well, why are you so happy over here when you want to be over there? And you say, well, partly because I've seen what's over there and I'm positively anticipating it, but there's so much wonderful stuff that I'm seeing that's over here. And frankly, you say, I'm looking forward to the journey between here and there. I think that was what I was born for. I think I was born for this eternal expanding journey, you see. We know it's tricky because so many say, if I could just find the lover, then everything would be all right. If I could just lose 40 pounds, then everything would be just right. If I could just get my finances in order, if I could just move into that beautiful new house, if I could just, if I could just, if I could just, if it were not for this, I would be happy. If it were not there for this that I have my attention upon, we say, that's right. This lack of what you want is so active in your vibration that it will not let you close the vibrational gap, you see. So you got a bit more than you bargained for here with your <laughs> wonderful question. People say, well, how does action fit in? And we say, it's the joyful way you express life, but it's not the way you make anything happen. And people argue with that because they say, I see people picking up bales of hay and moving them over there. And if they weren't picking them up, we say there'd be another way to figure it out. I see those truckloads of oranges. Somebody is growing them and picking them and putting them and processing. There's a lot of action involved. And we say, yes, there is action involved, but the action of your world is not what's causing the expansion of it. The creation of your world is about perspective and ideas. It always has been, you see. So when we say we want you to take action out of the equation, we don't mean stop acting. We mean stop making action important to the creation of something, make it important to the enjoying of what's been created, you see. So now take it further. We've sort of given you a basis. I understand it's about the enjoyment of from where I am to where I want to be, okay. If you feel disappointed about where you are in relationship to where you want to be, you'll never be able to be there. If you feel hopeful about where you are in relationship to where you want to be, you've already begun closing the gap. If you feel eager about where you're going, if you feel enthusiastic, if you feel passion, now you're on the way. If you feel discouraged, you're not closing the gap. If you feel angry, you're widening the gap. If you feel frustration, you're sort of stuck right where you are. Your emotions are your indication of your movement. So what you're reaching for is satisfaction with where you are and eager for more. It's so strange. Do you know that the fastest way to get somewhere else is to focus positively on where you are? Because step one, which is your work, life causes you to do that. And step three, which is your work, are two entirely different steps. Follow this picture for a moment. You're really going to like this. So. 
You were source energy. You came forth into this physical body. You experienced contrast. And in the contrast, you gave birth. You gave birth. You gave birth. You gave birth. Rockets of desires, one after the other, rockets of desires, until you've created this vibrational escrow. Now feel the power of that. Feel, feel, feel what it must be. Feel what it was even before you got busy in the contrast. And feel what it must be now that you have been busy in the contrast. And feel the exponential expansion of it now that law of attraction and the source within you have focused upon it. Feel the power of that, you see. Feel how big that is. We can see why you'd want to be part of that. Feel the bigness of it. Now, focus in a doubtful way about it and feel the discord. Feel how annoying this swirling magistry is since you're nowhere near it. Feel how unpleasant that is. In other words, such a difference between you and you. Really a strong pulling apart, so to speak. But now, Start speaking more optimistically, even though you're sort of making it up, and feel the little bit of relief that you feel as you begin allowing yourself to move in the direction of it. Now, you've still got this other swirling vibration going on, so you're not going willingly, but you are going because this is huge. When you croak, it'll take you right there. It's huge. So now you're making an effort to be even more optimistic, even more positive about it. You're feeling better and better as you're coming closer and closer to it. And eventually you'll come so close to this fast moving energy, your breath will be taken away. You'll begin to feel exhilaration and excitement and passion and clarity as you get closer and closer and closer to it. And once it catches you and sweeps you, it will put you right into the eye of this vortex where everything stands still where there is no fast moving energy, where it will feel like that's the way it was all along. Haven't you seen those kind of people with that kind of confidence? Their tongues aren't hanging out. They're not worrying about anything. It seems that they say it and it happens and they say it and it happens and you're over there really annoyed at what you're witnessing with them. <laughs> You want to let the laws of the universe work for you, you see. And the way you do it is by letting yourself get Granted, it takes some work in the vibrational proximity of who you really are. And when you get close enough, off you go. And that's the day you buy the winning lottery ticket. You see, that's the day. Haven't been thinking about it, 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 haven't been thinking about it. What you been thinking about? I'm happy. I like you, I like that, did this, having fun, like this, like this, like this, this is good, I really like this, isn't that beautiful? Look at this long list of positive aspects, look how good this is, look how good this is. Allowing, 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 allowing. Here's this thing over here, pulsing, pulsing. You're allowing, 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 coming closer. All of a sudden, <clears throat> idea within you, so powerful that wild horses could not keep you from it. You know it in the way that you knew you would be called on here today. You knew that. You lined up your energy, you knew it, and we had no choice. You were far back there. We had no choice but to find you and bring you forward because you had lined up with what was swirling over there. And the laws of the universe said, it must be so. No resistance in your vibration, so there it is. What feels like instant manifestation, it's not. You were getting closer and closer. You said, for how many months? Three months? You've been thinking about this? Three months, you've been thinking about it, talking about it to yourself, thinking about it, getting in alignment with it, getting inside the vibrational escrow, being there, feeling it, knowing it. So it had to be, it had to be. All things work that way. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. You've just got to practice the thought of it until it is so familiar that it would be odd to think otherwise. Doesn't matter if it's through the lottery ticket or whatever. It's inevitable. It must come. And the universe has 20 or 30 or 40 immediate opportunities lined up in any moment in time.